Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So I hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. Guys, before getting into these solutions, so if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this within your WhatsApp student groups guys, so that it can reach maximum number of students and most of them will get benefited, I hope. So do share do share this video guys and don't forget to like the video guys if you are benefited through this video please uh, like this video so that it will come in the suggestions for other students also so that everyone uh, will get to reach this video so that's the main motto guys so this is week 3 assignment of cloud computing course so guys uh, i hope almost all solutions are correct if there are any changes to be made for the solution please give your opinion in the comment section and if i find anything i will update in the comment section itself guys so once again watch this video before final submission for any ch available changes so now let's see the first question so first one so in the context of aggregated demand in resource provisioning in the cloud how does adding N independent demands affect the coefficient of variation. So for first question, the probable answer is option B guys. Option B. So mark option B as probable solution for first question. Now let's move on to the second one. So second question, so what does the term biasness towards vendors imply in the context of SLA programming? So for second question, I think the probable answer is option A, vendor driven selection of monitoring parameters. So I'm going with option A. So now let's move on to the third one guys. Guys uh, do watch the full video without skipping. If you skip the video you may miss some content. So do watch full video guys. So third question. So third one. In the OpenStack storage concept. Dash storage persists until the VM is terminated and is managed by what so here the open storage concept ephemeral storage guys so it is ephemeral storage so in two options they have given the same thing right and it was managed by nova so the answer is option D. So mark option D as correct answer for third equation. Now let's move on to the fourth one guys. Fourth one. So fourth one. What condition makes pro periodic provisioning acceptable in presence of linear demand so for fourth question guys i think the probable answer is option d flat demand flat demand so mark option d now let's move on to the fifth question guys so before going uh, through the answer for fifth question i want to make sure so guys we have prepared exam preparation mcqs i have already uh, told with you in previous videos so once again i want to remember you so for cloud computing and also for various courses we have prepared guys so we have nearly five years of nptl experience uh, in giving these assignment solutions so here we have prepared two types of packs guys savings pack and super savings pack so he in super savings pack you will get a huge number of 300 mcqs 300 mcqs and the validity will be till the exam day guys not one month or two months 
whenever will be the last exam date that will be the final validity date and you can get access up to five members guys so the price is 500 rupee the 500 rupees only because here uh, you can share with five members right so five members of you will get the access so st your st fellow students may be doing the same course right so five members of you can form a group and you can purchase this 500 rupees pack so individually for each person it will take just 100 rupees only right but you have to form a mean you have to take this for 500 rupee pack only guys so individually 100 is not possible you have to form a group so that you can get for individually less price only right so in this savings pack you will get only 150 mcqs and the price is 300 that means the price will be doubled right but here if you see the price is not double so it's better for you guys because you are getting 300 mcqs here more number of mcqs is important because if you practice more number of mcqs it will help you gain more knowledge right so that you can get better chances to get good grade you'll get a chance to have a good good grade right so in 150 pack you'll get access for up to three members so individually it is also 100 only right but you have to form a three members group but i suggest you to take this 300 package because here you are getting more number of mcqs and the topic coverage is medium in this uh, savings pack but if you see here the topic coverage is high in 300 mcqs pack because lot more mcqs will be covered and search option is also available because this is a pdf version you will get a google drive link guys both are google drive links so that you can get access to watch this pdf uh, watch that pdf and also you will get easy revision because even if you are going to the exam hall you can easily revise while going while traveling also because you can easily scroll the pdf right so if you want to purchase this pdf any of these pdfs you can mail me to this email id guys bk179417 at the rate gmail.com so if you want to purchase any of this you can mail me to this email id already many people have taken this guys so be part of them and think smart guys it's better to take 300 mcqs pack because you are getting more number of mcqs no other than our channel no one is providing these mcqs guys only our channel is doing that with nearly five years of nptl experience you can check our videos also and the other thing is so we have also prepared exam preparation videos also guys so i have already uploaded so if you see here nptl exam preparation videos so so this is only for members guys so here i have prepared cloud computing part one and part two also in order to get this you have to click on join button so they so here there is three types of packs click on 119 per month pack and click on join and make payment that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all the videos guys all all the exam preparation videos but this is a video pack guys uh if you want the more number of mcqs join in the pdf pack so now let's move on to the solutions so for fifth question the probable solution is option c guys peak to average demand uh, ratio now let's move on to the sixth one so sixth question what architecture is used in a parallel database for efficient execution of sql queries so for sixth question i think the probable answer is option c guys so mark option c now let's move on to the seventh one seventh question so for seventh question the probable answer is option c once again guys environments with uh, variable demand levels so mark option c and moving on to the eighth one so for eighth question the probable probable answer is once again option c now let's move on to the ninth one so for ninth question the answer is option d so moving on to the final question that is tenth one the probable solution is option b guys so friends, these are the solutions for week 3 assignment of cloud computing. So hope this helpful for you. Please like, share and subscribe guys. Thank you.